Yes. It's still. But you can't be any geek off the street. You gotta be handy with the steel if you know what I mean. Keep it real. Keep it real. Keeping it real. Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Steven and this is Steel Keeping It Real. So you know what today is. This is how we do it. It's Friday night. That's right, it is Friday. It's Female Friday, and on this day, I like to showcase female artists, past, present, or future on the channel. Now, the last song of the evening, uh, as I said, I was sticking with the theme of being like late 50s, early 60s type of song, and this is Leslie Gore's You Don't Own Me. Now, what I found out about this song is that Leslie Gore was only 17 years old when she released this song and or recorded the song in 1963 and released the song in the, uh, December of that same year. Now it goes on to say that this the song was Gore's second most successful recording and her last top 10 single. On November 27th of 2016 along with 24 other songs the Grammy Hall of Fame announced its induction. So that's cool. That's very, very cool. Now it says the song was shocking in 1963 for its anti-patriarchal stance showing the power of one woman to deny the wishes of a man. Since then the song has been hailed as an early feminist anthem. The song was also done in 2015 by a songer called Say Grace with g Easy, and they took their version to number one. Never ever be a broke girl. You don't own me. I'm not just one of your many toys. Now, I like their version. Uh, even though it is a cover, there's a little bit of a, the hip hop element to it. There's a little bit more mis mystery to it. But uh, I do like their version as far as being something that is updated. If you're going to do a cover, make it different, but still give the original its due. That's all I have to say about that. Let's take a look at what Leslie Gore's version did on the charts and blammo. It went to number two on the Billboard Hot 100, number two on the US Cashbox Top 100, number four in Australia, number five in Canada, number two in New Zealand, and number nine in Sweden. Now for this song to be like an early feminist anthem, that's a lot to put on a 17 year old girl. Uh, it is the early 60s and you know by the end of the 60s you know there would be that burning bras and everything else like that that goes along with it and I'm not against feminism as long as it's not done in treating men like their scum their dogs everything else like that I've always was raised because I'm very respectful of women my mom taught me that way that you know I don't mind women being equal to men I don't ever think that I had this nature about me that I was in any way dominating over a woman if you are if you like videos like this and others on the channel see that you know when we get into that subject it, it, it can get me worked up and it is something that should be talked out sensibly and not as this I hate you you're patriarchal this and that you know I, I hate that just about as much as some people want to take offense at saying all white people are bad and things like that because it's not the case there's always exceptions to the rule and in more case there's probably more good white people than bad white people just as much as there are good men and there are bad men um, we all know that you all know that you know just because you had a bad date with somebody that doesn't mean that all men are that way 
You know what my big pet peeve is? And we got started here. You know what really grinds my gears? Is when a woman tells or says to a man, why don't you be more of a man? That irks me to death because a guy never says, why don't you be more of a woman? You know what? You can't. Women have changed the definition of what men have been or what men are supposed to be almost since this time frame of when this song came out and feminism started to become a rise. Uh, you, you started to try to tell men, you know, you want us to have more feelings, you want us to do this, you want us to do that, and then when we do that, then you talk about how we ain't shit. You know, it, you, you can't have it both ways. You know, and if, if you like videos like this and others on the channel, please don't forget to hit the like button, the subscribe button, and the notification button, because I'm doing at least 15 videos each and every week. So, without any further ado, here is Leslie Gore, and you don't know me. And here we go. And I mentioned this on the uh, Shelley Fabre Johnny Angel song was that you have had the doubling up or the tripling up of the voice that she sings with, and that's throughout this whole thing. Now, also, when you listen to it, the harmonies or any of the backing vocals are a little, they're very subtle in the very beginning. And they're like only oohs, and but when you hear the oohs, all of a sudden it, you'll hear the beginning of it, and then the instrumentation takes over it, uh, almost like it, the note of the oo, and then it goes into it, and then as you got towards the end, you started the, those oohs started the volume, you know, was raised on those, and you heard it a little bit more. The orchestration in this adds to the song uh, again it's it's got this dark kind of feeling because you, you know uh, saying you don't own me and it's like said with a punch like you don't own me you know I'm not your average you know that kind of feeling and it's like gets the point across with the with the the 
the way the music is coming by. And then when it comes to that chorus, it's that orchestration and some slight little backing vocals. And it's like, basically I'm free type of feeling part of the song. And, and then it just kind of gradually keeps going up and up and up as like, you know, I'm free, I'm free, let me do what I want, I'm free, and this is how the sound of freedom is. So, you know what, I, again, I have nothing against the song, and I, I never thought of it as a feminist anthem, but I could see how it could, could become a feminist anthem. I just think that men and women need to realize that we need each other, plain and simple. We need each other in order for us as a species to grow and evolve and things like that. And maybe these are the growing pains of each and every you know, generation, each and every you know, male, female, you know, or, or want to be, you know, I'm not even going to throw the, the LGBT into this because it's men and women and if you want to be one or the other, you know, that's your particular choice. But it's that kind of dichotomy that is, you know, causing all this, this mess. So, you know, we just need to learn to get along. We just need to be respectful of each other. And we need to be more mindful of the things you say to people, the way you act to people. And that's, that's it. If you are still here, I thank you very much for staying tuned. I really do appreciate it. First and foremost, I want you guys to like the videos as much as I like making them for you. After that, all you need to do to help me out with the channel is to like, subscribe, share, and comment. 